Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now here we will see how do we convert fractions into percentage. However, in the last example, that is what we actually did. This, in fact, this is exactly what we did. We converted 20, 12 by 20 into 60%. We also converted 8 by 20 into 40%. So here we will systematically learn how to convert per fraction into percentages. Now there are simple steps you need to remember to do this conversion. The first thing is multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. Why do we do this? Because if we do not do this, we will never be able to reach a value which is like a numerator divided by 100. So we basically need a 100 in the denominator. So one good way of getting a 100 in the denominator is you multiply both numerator and denominator by 100. So let us look at this example. So we consider this example, let's say you have a fraction 4 by 5 and you have to convert this into percentage. So what you do, you multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. That is your step number 1. Second is obtain a number divided by 100. That's the percentage because percentage is all about how much out of 100. So now you have a 100 in the denominator. So leave that 100. Other than that, everything else is like one number. That is 4 into 100 by 5, this entire thing divided by 100. So that is how you need to visualize it. So basically now you can write this in terms of percentage. What you do is replace divided by 100 with the percentage symbol pretty simple so this is how you do it and then you calculate this value so 5 2 is a 10 0 4 into 20 is 80 so this is 80 percent so this is how you convert a fraction into percentage so let us look at more examples so let's look at example 2 so here we have a fraction 11 by 40 what we do here also we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100 you Keep this entire thing intact. So it is 11 into 100 divided by 40%. So this 0, 0 will cancel. This is 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 5 is a 10. So you get it as 55 divided by 2%. So 55 by 2% is nothing but 27.5%. Let's look at yet another example. Let's talk about 12 by 40 so in case of 12 by 40 again you multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100 so here again you leave this intact so this is 1200 divided by 40 percent so this becomes 30 percent let's take another interesting example Let's take a fraction like this, 5 by 2. Which, which type of fraction is this where the numerator is greater than the denominator, 5 is greater than 2. So this is an example of improper fraction. And wherever you have the numerator smaller than the denominator like 4 by 5, this is a proper fraction. 12 by 40, that is also a proper fraction. 11 by 40, that's again a proper fraction. So all of these are examples of proper fraction. This is the only improper fraction. So here also we will follow the same process to convert it into a percentage. So this entire thing remains as it is. So this becomes 500 by 2%. So this is equal to 250%. Now do you observe something very interesting? So you see example 1, 2, 3, all of these were proper fractions. And for all of these proper fractions, the value of percentage was less than 100. But the moment you have an improper fraction where the numerator is more than the denominator, there the value of the percentage is a lot more than 100%. So this is an interesting observation out of this that for proper fractions, when you convert proper fractions into percentages, you their percentage values are less than 100. That's because the numerator is lesser than the denominator. But when you come across improper fraction, the percentage will always be greater than 100. 
So all that we learned from this slide is proper fractions always correspond to less than 100%. Improper fractions always correspond to values greater than 100%. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.